So what's up, y'all? Good morning. It's your girl, Ashes the Rebirth. Um, we are going to start this uh, day off with two messages from Spirit that woke me up. So I'm going to go ahead and um, get this recorded for y'all so y'all can cop the message because it seems like it's some groundbreaking energy going on right now. Plus today is Moonology Monday for us. So we'll see how all these readings kind of tie in to one another on, you know, for our betterment here along our journey. So if you're new to this channel, I am Ashes the Rebirth. Um, our paths are crossing because there's some form of rediscovering your divine authentic self. There is some mending of the heart, um, a, a rebirthing of who you are in your divine authentic self and just kind of uh, rediscovering that thing, right? And reclaiming um, again, right? <laughs> Shout out Jasmine Sullivan. Uh, Jasmine Sullivan, you know, reclaim, right? Um, here's what I <laughs> Here's what I hear. So, you know, when I was talking about Jasmine Sullivan, you know, at the beginning of her song, uh, Reclaiming, I don't know if the song is called Reclaim My Time or what, but those of you who know, know what I'm talking about. So like at the very beginning of it, I can't think of the woman's name that it sounds like to me, but she sounds like um, uh, she's a politician. Uh, I don't know if it's her or not, but that's what it sounds like. And she's like, I'm reclaiming my time, reclaiming my time, you know, and they just keep repeating it. Um, that's I'm, I'm waking up in that energy right now um it's just like a, a reclaiming you know everything so if you're new to this channel okay spirit got a word for you too because uh it's a reclaiming of a thing re implies that this was already mine it's not something that i'm that i'm asking for it's something that already was mine and and either it was lost stolen i gave it away somebody tore it away from me i never knew it was mine in the first place so when it went away i didn't even notice it whatever the situation may be along your healing journey you're here in this moment you and I, amongst all the other people that believe in all things good, love, purity, truth, and, and, and healing, right? So let's get into the message, all right? Anybody who wants to book any personal readings with me, it does not have to be love, because I'm going to tell you now, if you're not ready for it, spirit going to speak it, and I'm going to tell it, okay? Um, but if you want personal readings as far as your healing or you want relationship readings or, you know, different readings, um, I do offer those. But I will tell you this, um, that if they are romantic readings, um, I will have 15 minute consultations with you for free um, to ensure that that reading is one that spirit is saying is necessary in this moment. Because what I won't do is give a reading to somebody and set you up for failure. OK, Um because this, these are real spiritual readings. It's no game here. Okay. Um, healing is not for your entertainment. Okay. If that's not okay for YouTube or any other platform, then, then honey, you need to jump up off of it because this, I'm not telling you to trade in any of the counseling or anything, other things that you do. What I am saying is that those of you who know divine true source is real for you. And on some real shit, those of you who are not aware of it at all, you really need to get aboard the train, okay? So reality is, I, I don't get up from spirit talking to me in the morning so that I can post some shit to tell y'all that this is for entertainment purposes. It ain't. Because the source in which I, 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 I work with, in, and through, my ancestors, spirit guides, none of them come in to waste my time or yours or to play around and pity pat talking about it's for your entertainment. You got enough of that. Skip this video and go find some, you know, some music. Go find some comedy or something. There's enough going on in the world. Enough people that are far richer than I, monetary wise, that are entertain you. I ain't come to entertain you, right? I come to be the vessel that spirit got me to to be out here, right? As as I heal and as I master certain things or as I'm fumbling through things. I'm learning the lesson so that when spirit has procured my spirit, I can go out as vessel and speak a thing, right? I'm a messenger is all. I'm an oracle for the moment for you. You see? We ain't got into the message yet. I suppose that is the message though, right? Ah, spirit. So when I woke up this morning, I was going to do a whole nother reading right now, but I feel like there's a strong essence of the divine feminine um, that needs to hear right now. So instead of, we'll do the other reading in a minute, but right now 
I'm going to talk to Divine Feminine about what Spirit is saying right now in this moment to us. Uh, because today, like you can see in the title, there is a grand awakening happening, ladies. Okay? Men who, who have been battling with the Divine Feminine, meaning a woman, whether it be a relationship, your mother or whomever. <laughs> Forgive my voice. <laughs> she got a deep bass in her right now. Okay? <laughs> Like divine masculine try and come through my throat or some shit. But spirit also has me up early. So don't even worry about it, okay? Um, there are epiphany moments going on for the divine feminine right now. Um, there are... Let me get these. I want to get these cards for the divine feminine. The divine feminine is really learning to like... Here, here's how I hear it exactly. To sit in... Her own, you know, um, mm, sweetness, sweetness, like to sit in her own sweetness. Yeah, spirit. Thank you. <laughs> like to sit in her own, you know, juices to 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 really nestle into to her own goodies. You know, it's always you know what, ladies, Jasmine Sullivan's energy is in the building real heavy. I don't know um her zodiac i don't know much about her on like a personal or spiritual level i know her music is all right but her energy is in this room and i'm not sure if there's some divine feminine that are having epiphanies in this moment where you realize that i can reclaim this space right i'm i'm sitting in my own wiles in this moment i am i am basking in my own uh you know goodies i'm basking in my own fruit and 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 juices and essence and sweetness nectar okay this is my divine honey pot here. I'm I'm sitting in all the the luxury that is me. My god, the divine feminine. Come through divine feminine cuz you know you've been quiet. All that intuitive quiet time. You see how this is a key here with the with the the lunar energy here, the feminine energy there. Let me show y'all this up close. I don't even want to take those crystals off because, honey, Divine Feminine is speaking a thing. But you see how this is a keychain, okay? I mean, not a keychain, but you know the uh, the key entryway or, or what have you. Mm -hmm. That's an entryway. Uh -huh. And you, you all up already in tune to yourself at this point. There is an epiphany coming, ladies. Let me tell you, okay? Uh, there is There is a strong, strong, strong um, awakening. Okay, and spirit wants to make that very clear before we even get into a thing. Main message is the cross card. What else do we want to hear? What else do we need to hear? What else do we need to say to us? <laughs> Divine feminine. Divine Feminine, okay? Are you trying to come through the room, okay? You're like, okay, Divine Masculine, I know what it is, right? Divine Feminine, right? I'm I'm all in my own space right now. I'm all in tune to my own self. Who who, who got access? Because you ain't coming out to give the key. So who done gave the key? Spirit done gave the key. And who has that key? Only the Divine Masculine that's supposed to get up in there, okay? Um, that's it. Okay, I had a word for the Divine Masculine on that, but I'm going to save that for your own uh, reading because Divine Feminine is finally coming through the room and we want to let her come through. Um, and I typically only read, you know, I'll turn them upright myself, but um, here lately Spirit has been saying to keep these how they are. So um, I want to make sure that I can't move that off of that throat chakra space. So y'all going to have to see the cards a little out of. Well, it seems like out of sync because this one's way over here, okay? So here we go, y'all. As if we weren't already started, right? So, all right, Spirit, let's uh, talk about this one. So main, uh, main point here, or the main focus, right, from Spirit is here. This cross, this is at the head. This is at the crown of us. Ooh, this is a nice, nice uh, spirit is speaking to us here. This is the cross card. Um, it's it's the number 36, which, of course, is going to reduce down to nine. Which for me, y'all know, is ancestors coming through the room for us. You see all this 
over here, it's like a, um, uh, it gives me really uh, like a, a heritage kind of lineage root kind of feel like um, ancestors coming through, right? We got the number nine, number one. We got the cross to be bore. It's already been bore. We've already done it. You know, the it's it's like the ancestors, you know, have, have kind of lifted it. You know how you see, you know, one solid thing and then spirit can kind of come through. That's how it is right here for you, Divine Feminine. You see all things white, right? Cleansed, pure, clear of things. You see, this is the essence of you here looking like birds or smoke flying, you know, coming off of you. This is all your energy that's emanating. Didn't we talk about spirit sending the divine masculine based on your aura and your vibration and your energy? Not how your hair look. Not how your body stack. Not how fat your ass look. Okay. Real or not. <laughs> okay. Lashes or not. Makeup bare faced. Not concerned with that. I even saw a post last night that says something along the lines of, you know, when, when he's choosing her. You better be looking at more than her body because she's going to be the woman that's going to raise your kids. That's going to be your spiritual, you know, uh, protector. <laughs> Hello. Where you're gaining knowledge from and that divine feminine energy only the way she can. You better pick her for more than her body. Ladies, you better know that you should be picked for more than your body. Your ancestors have said you are you are being elevated. You are in a different place. You are now. You can you can fly free now, right? It's it's a freedom to it. You're not chained and linked to anything anymore. Go out, take those chances. Allow the goodness to come through. This is also a reassurance of the divine masculine coming through the room as he has been, you know, to make sure that you're full aware that you are supported. That you are grounded. You've got the grounding right here behind you. What you just came from. But then you also have another one right here in front of you for where you're going. I'm, I'm showing you signs. Didn't I tell you? Epiphany. Divine Feminine. Some of you are just realizing those readings that came from Divine Masculine and Spirit. And your own reading. And you're now coming in tune with it. I don't know how far back y'all been rocking with me. But I'll tell you this. If you're one who remembers when this Tower card came up the last time. Okay. It was about us having having a different perspective. And you know perspectives in the room anyway because we got nine, which means that uh, Mr. Baldwin is here. So there's no games here. We're talking perspective here. Again, uh, uh, an example with Mr. James Baldwin of that, that divine masculine and feminine uh, merging. Okay? I hear spirits say, who's flying this ship? <laughs> Because depending on who you think is flying this thing, because this is 19, the tower card, which is going to reduce down to 10. And there are certain times this tower card comes in and it has a completely different message. You see, we, we were lost in perspective the last time this came out, Divine Feminine. Having to take a step back, right? To, to be able to see things clearly. To be able to, to allow things to crumble if they need it to. And because you've done that work and now you are in a space of being free. You see the same white wings. Same essence that's coming, you know, around you. It follows you everywhere you go. This is significant of a new beginning. That you've allowed the surrender. You've allowed things to crumble beside you, around you, underneath of you. Your very footing and foundation. And spirit is saying, okay, so now that you did that in your foundational space, we've got the coffin. This is a death. This is a death. We got, we got, we got all these deaths here. This, this is the ending of a thing because mind you, this is the grand awakening, divine feminine. Like it reads in the, in the, in the description, the title. <laughs> oh my, right? The epiphany. So you mean to tell me I got the coffin card, eight, infinite? infinitely building my structure see this is a skeleton keeping my well my vessel full you see this inside yourself inside yourself ain't those shapes mighty m mighty close hmm can you speak a word please spirit right like like do you need it any more clear the same birds that are over here like like here from the essence is still sitting here too Ah, bless me. Oh, mm. 
and only in my right nostril there there is uh um we sneeze and say bless you spirit said this is an epiphany here right i'm here by myself bless me when's the last time you decided to say yeah this is a bless me kind of moment we fill in my own vessel up. Spirit said, this is the foundation you'll always be in now. There is no turn back. This is an infinite in tune to yourself. This is an infinite. In Didn't spirit and divine masculine say forever giving you signs? Okay. The signs are, hey, that ain't it right there. And the signs are, hey, come get this right here. Or not even come get this right here. But look, this is what is being offered. You can allow that to be poured into your cup. Spirit said, we got to be mindful to stay in a space of, this is this card, a reminder card, right? This is 10. This is the new beginning. And then you also have the bat, which is all about rebirth. Y'all know, okay? That's one of my totem um, spirit animals here. So the bat card's going to go to 11. This is a divine aligning of a thing. When spirit woke me up, it was like, um, not the actual time, but the numbers that were in my head were for the date for today and I didn't realize it was the date when spirit first said it you know as far as all I heard was 11 22 and I was like okay great and spirit was like yeah today 11 22 we've got divinity and we've also got that two that duality but it's also the angels this is all things coming together in this moment this is such an epiphany of a moment I think that some of it I can't even you know express um Spirit give utterance to you or bring me back on here to say something else later because it's just so it's it's so power packed. It's like um having to leave you to bask in the epiphany. You see, she ain't gone nowhere yet. She she's not she's ascended, she's spiritually grown, yes, but but she's still right here. You see, she's still nestled close to the ground and not you know, it is a grand awakening, but she's just whoa, feeling it right now. Remember when Divine Masculine was saying slow down? Okay, skip her. Thank you. Come through the room. Slow down. Girl, let me love you. Yeah. He says, we can have just one night. Or we can have one whole life if we play it cool. How cool. That anchor, slow it down. Slow down. Let me get to know you. Yeah, because Spirit got this tower card. Who, who's driving this thing, right? Where it looks like it's, it's, you know, going down, but this is where the ground is. So you, it, it's not going down. You got to allow Spirit Divine Masculine to drive this thing to other people. It looks like you're going down, but you know that, that the foundation of a thing is here and you're, you're, you're going into Spirit here. Oh, this, this rocket looks like it's going in a whole nother way. But yeah, this is a whole nother dimension, a whole nother shift. This is a whole brand new beginning. This is 10, which is one, which is new foundation, right? When you talk about breaking new ground, you're talking about not, not the foundation ground level. Because mind you, even in your grounding, there's an infinity. So there's always a rebirthing, a newness, a beginning. Hello, the bat. Divine alignment. That anchor is holding us. The anchor is holding us. What anchor? The anchor of the divine feminine energy. Okay. This is what? Eight. <laughs> Again. Okay. This is spirit from, from our grounding. And this is also the card that's on the left, which y'all know left side is all what spirit is downloading into our environment. But this here, this is the divine masculine energy because this is on the right side. This is what we're, needs to be released into our atmosphere. Over here with spirit on the left side is where we're receiving. The right side is the release of a thing. You're releasing your need to have all the answers. Y'all better go back and look at these readings because spirit be speaking for real and it don't be no games. Slow down. Listen to those songs if you need to listen to anything. Skip Marley and her. Slow down. Jasmine Sullivan reclaiming my time. Don't go listen to everything in hotel. Because, okay, it's nice to bop the Jasmine if you healed and, and are listening to it and you like it. Because it's like, oh, all my shit pop type shit. You know what I mean? 
but I'm talking about, you know, stick to the reclaim and then come on up out of Jasmine's energy because it will put, there's certain things that will put us in a space of very slyly going back into a place that we don't need to be in, right? So this is a lot of divine, divine feminine energy. This is going deep and, and not coming up to the surface, staying rooted and grounded right down there in that infinity of a thing. Your spirit over your mind. You're reconstructing because spirit and divine masculine are wanting you to produce everything that you've been wanting to produce. And the divine masculine and spirit is knowing that the divine masculine houses part of that because divine masculine and the healing of the divine masculine within yourself is how you are able to really manifest and birth the things that you've been looking to have. Hmm? Because when's the last time you saw creation born without the divine masculine and the divine feminine coming together now typically people are doing that in traumatic kind of ways guilty myself i have three children single mother okay gotten it wrong a lot of times okay but we in a space of of freedom now we we, we put in some work yeah you know? and i don't i don't mean two months i don't even mean two weeks i mean we we years embedded in this thing long before spirit even even mentioned that the divine masculine could come in we, we've been just trying to procure this within inside of ourselves the divine masculine within myself and my divine feminine spirit said you can slow down now honey you've been working over time over time over time okay you see this shell? It, it even speaks of an infinite. I hear the sound of a thing. So be again, back to that Jasmine. Get the reclaim my time. I will listen to some skip. I'm going to put it on when I get up off of here because I'm going to dance now, okay? Divine Feminine, get your bodies moving, your hips. Um, it, it, it probably, you know, unless you're in tune to your body... It may feel when you begin, it may feel a little weird. It may feel a little different to tap into it, right? The freedom of movement, the freedom of your hips, right? Especially if they've been anchored down for a minute, okay? And not so much in a sexual way, but in a very sensual, let me tap into my feminine, let me tap into my sexy, and not on account of anyone. On account of me really being okay with all of this right here. Because until you're riding that free, everything that you're housing inside of your own spirit and mind about yourself is what follows you. Remember the divine masculine energy reaches, stretches in the direction of your energy and your aura, divine feminine, okay? Um, and it comes seeking. So spirit needs us to also you know, there's some of some of us who may need some anchoring and some grounding, right? Making sure that you're maintaining this. Slow down, okay? Let me get to know you, right? Slow down. Even even if you've known me, spirit and divine masculine. Remember, they came through the room not long ago and said, "I do a new thing," okay? I just want to recap about that Jasmine Sullivan because I know how you'll get in one playlist and you'll keep listening to something, but that whole album ain't going to help you because you're in a different place. You're not, you're not broken down. This divine feminine here, you're, you're not, you're not upset about some things. You're, you're free. Remember? Ancestors, perspective, a rebirth, new things. Even your grounding is in an infinite space. Okay. Spirit needs you to just make sure that you slow down. Get yourself anchored in it. But you're being anchored. Mind you, you see here, this is up. But it looks like because it's not in the upright that it's going down. But this is the, the correct direction. This is an infinite stance here. Spirit is saying that you're, you're putting the anchor down, but you're getting rooted and grounded within yourself. And it's going to be a different concept for you, Divine Feminine, because you're rooted and grounded to what? When we think about that, throw it all the way down in the ocean or put a stake into the ground to get it rooted. Spirit has got you free. Like flying high, right? Spirit, the energy, the aura. How do I anchor that? How do you anchor freedom? Spirit, right? Infinitely. 
Spirit say, let me fill the vessel. Let me show you what this looks like in this dimension, in this realm. With this divine connection, you see, within yourself and then other opportunities and other people coming in. Yeah, don't get yourself caught up, right? Anything else, spirit? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We've got we've got divine alignment here. This is such an epiphany. This is such a grand awakening uh, for the divine feminine. So please, for this this week here, right? And this isn't even the collective reading for the week, but this reading right here going to be for the week. Do not take it by surprise, ladies, the things that begin to pop up. Okay, let me share this with you, Divine Feminine, okay? Um, the way that spirit may maneuver, this is this tower card, thank you, spirit, may not look the way you think it's going to come looking, number one, okay? Number two, Spirit was saying to me this morning in our intimate time that like the way I'll bring in masculine energy may be a thing to kind of procure this freedom to teach you how to act. Mm, thank you, Spirit, for tying it together, uh, for bringing this anchor in, you see. Um, so the masculine might not come in to be your man. The masculine might come in just to show you what it's like to be around the masculine. You're going to get anchored in the energy of the divine masculine and what that really is to mend uh, certain wounds. This is this is this uh, pairing of divine masculine and feminine, that there is something the masculine needs from the feminine and something the feminine needs from the masculine. And this ascension, see how she's not so she's she's not gone all the way because she's still a little bit like, hmm, I'm feeling this thing out. I've slowed down. I'm, I'm anchoring in this essence of self. That's when the masculine, this bad energy swoops in that that rebirth yes my god and and it'll be a free flow because now you've got your wings you're ascending and so you're, you're good with the both of you flying into the abyss of this space infinite right dying away of the old and creating a new thing spirit say a new thing because right behind this vessel of you is an hourglass this is the infinite timing of a thing and then, then you have this bird over here, like here. This is this is me always showing you, like I've said before. This is divine masculine in the room. I, you will always be given signs. Divine feminine, you are so held right now. This anchor is also spirit, just like with the back here, divine feminine. Just making sure that that you're very aware that that you are grounded, you are safe, you are secure here. Because you're going to have to feel that that type of safety. You're going to have to trust the walking and the knowing that you've gained thus far. Don't don't throw it all away. Ground yourself in all that you've done and accumulated. And now with the opportunities and the divine masculine coming into the room, you, you can you can make your way through it all. OK, you can make your way through it all. And spirit does have that last message about that mind. Allowing your spirit to, you know, overtake it as opposed to. Um, the other direction okay questions comments or concerns divine feminine please put that in the comments divine masculines if you have questions comments concerns about this reading put it in the comments please if you are interested again in in uh knowing more about your personal reading because of course this is for collective of whoever spirit knows will watch this um but if you're wanting something more personal in tune to how this applies to you on an individual level, um, the information to contact me to schedule appointments and things are in the description box. OK, any services um, and products that I provide for healing um, are going to be on the Etsy shop. But you can find that information in the description box. I slowly put items on there because it is not just for the buy and the win, you know, for the coin and the bag type shit. Um, but it's real things that spirit sits with me and, you know, those things take months to procure some of them. Um, you know, I, I have to sit and really hear and see what it is strategically that spirit has me to do and say. Um, and so those products and services um, are listed kind of slowly on the Etsy. Um, some because I'm waiting for other people like the printer 
And then some of it is because when you are working with herbs and medicinal things, um, you have to be very mindful of what spirit is saying, right? And how things need to run so that I'm not offering something that isn't really helping someone, but saying that this is a product that does, okay? Um, so within that time, I am um, procuring, you know, um, the remedies that spirit gives me. I am also taking um, the remedies that spirit is giving me so I can give real account to, to what these things are that spirit is doing and saying um, because, because it's real life here, right? Th these readings, like I prefaced in the beginning, are, are not for jokes. These, these are not for games. If that's what you come for, then yeah, you need to probably go somewhere else um, to talk to somebody else um, who's going to be okay with giving you a word for entertainment, Okay. So that be that, ladies. Remember to be led and guided by all things pure, true, and love, and all things great and grand will be beckoned unto you. Do remember that in all of this seeking, to seek yourself first, okay? Um, and while I got y'all on here, this is the Divine Feminine. I do have up on the Etsy shop right now um, these two um, items from the womb healing line. So this is a tincture that you can put in teas, you can put in your water, your drinks, um, or you can just take it when you, you know... Um, you can just take it right through your mouth. Um, this is a roll-on um, womb rejuvenator oil. And this is too a, a womb rejuvenator. But some people want the oil or it might not be too much. So you can do something topical. Some people need a womb rejuvenation, um, you know, from the inside. So that's the tincture. And then you have this that you can just roll on. Let me show you what this looks like. So you would just take this and you would rub it, you know, roll it across the womb area. Like you do. Some of y'all got these in a perfume kind of way so that's that that's because I don't like to have that oil all on my hands like that all the time so this is like a quick kind of um way to do that or in your you know sacred time with spirit you know just to say okay um certain times like full moon rituals or different moon rituals that you may have that may be good for you or if you actually have um you know for parents right like me you know not it could be brand new mother or you know it's just been you know two, three years. And, you know, it still feels like, you know, do I have a baby baby? Um, just to bring yourself back into a space, especially the mothers who breastfeed and things like that, like that womb recovery of self. It's not always trauma. Sometimes it's just like all that goes on naturally to the body when you give birth to, to kind of bring it back and snatch that thing and be like, okay, now, now I feel like myself again, this, this feminine energy again, because because I want to be riding high in it. So it's like a giving your womb a little bit of rejuvenation. And you can do that from the inside with the tincture or the roll on um, topical oil. But I also have some things that are for womb trauma. Okay. Um, be it that sexual abuse or any kind of abuse that has happened to the female. It does um, damage the womb. Okay. Even if there was no physical trauma done to the actual womb, right? Any hurt to the female hurts the womb. And then that stunts the growth and the ability for the masculine healing to happen. So um, that rejuvenator is good, but the womb, um, the sacred womb salve is going to be good for you women who are working along your journey. But then there's also the womb rebirth, which is what I was just discussing when we're talking about real trauma happening. And then we also have a trauma spray that's going to be put up very soon. That's going to be for once you start the healing journey, for those of you who are not here in this space of, of welcoming in opportunities and others, but you're working really diligent to merge that masculine feminine within your own self first right now. Um, you're healing from brokenness. There is also going to be a spray, which I think I'll probably put up today um, on the Etsy shop, which is going to be a spray that you can spray around your bed, spray around your home, around your door, around your body. Because sometimes when you're starting, uh, most times when you're starting your healing journey, um, a lot of things will come up and try to fear you out of you know, having that experience and spirit is like, nah, we're going to put a block to that thing and we're going to create this <laughs> concoction and have them spray it all around and it'll keep those negative thoughts and energies and memories at bay um, so that you're able to clearly heal. So that's that, ladies, okay? Um, there's also the spiritual language uh, card deck, 36 cards, a collection of uh, activities, movements, uh, affirmations that are going to help you in building spiritual language, knowing how spirit speaks to you and knowing how you can speak to spirit is what those is what that deck will do for you. It's not some fancy deck to get out here and womp, womp, womp. This is if you're working on your healing journey, you either want it or you don't. It's just little ways for you to, um, you know what I mean? 
um so it's not all glossed up you know like you know like these these are nice but but this deck is and maybe at some point in time spirit to change it but right now i i really am just tuned into the the, the really getting anchored into this thing and everything don't have to be pretty because the healing, I can tell you now, okay? I could sit on here and do as many readings as it gets, but when we get into the crux of that healing, okay? You, you're going to want more than, than gloss. You, you're not even going to care about what them cards is looking like at the time. You, you're just going to need an anchor, right? To, to hold you down. Masculine energy and spirit is here for the long haul. Didn't you see them two eights come through the room? It was like, let me give you a sign and to confirm that thing. I said, it's eternal. And oh, oh, she didn't hear it. It's eternal. <laughs> okay. So there you go, ladies. I'm out for real this time. It's been real. Chagrash is the rebirth piece.